it's Fashionista Seems. And we're back with an all-new mini game, number 236. What the hell? Yeah, can you believe I've made 236 of these motherfuckers? I'd love to ever one of them. Oh, that's amazing. Well, thank you, Fred. Welcome. Oh, we have two new people on today. This ought to be very interesting. Should Take it away! What? Should I be concerned? Always on this show, Arlene. Oh, crap. Uh-huh. Take it away, T! Why? Thank you, I'm Tink Bartwell. Welcome back to an all-new mating game. We have new people, Fred. How exciting, Tink. I'm surprised word hasn't got out not to come on here. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and introduce our new bachelor, shall we? Carl! Car Carlson? Who makes up these damn people? Hello. Carl Carlson? What the heck is wrong with your dang mama? My dad's name is Carl. What's your mom's name? Carly? No. Was her maiden name Carly Carlson? Was that it? No. I want to know. Actually, my mom's name is Monica. Brad. Monica Monicason? No. Monica Brad. Styles. Oh, so she has something normal and like you. You don't even know me, but thanks. Uh, oh, I assume you're just as stupid you. as Carl Carlson. Hey! I'm in the audience, you know! Shut up, Carl! Oh! Shut up, I put my butt up your dang butthole! Hey, calm down, Mon. She, she will do it. I've seen it. I felt it, actually, Mon. So, but shut it, Carl! May I talk now? Go ahead. Thank you. A new bachelorette! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Clint Rissa Rose? What the heck? Hi, everybody. What kind of name is that? I told you she's real. Don't listen. Honey, I believe you and your stories. Well, I'm glad somebody does. Tank. Well, it's like you're being called out, Tank. Yeah, but you never know with this shit hell. Returning Arlene Mozart! Hey, y'all, what's going on? All right, Mon! I'm concerned because of Carl Carlson. What? And what kind of name is Clarissa? I mean, really. My mama named me after my grandma, Clitty. What? I told you her grandma's name Clitty, didn't I? Oh, yes, I didn't tell that part. No, but now I know. That was her nick. Nine. So oh her God, she been hit in the head by a hammer. Oh God! And of course, in our third chair is always the insufferable Farton. Butthole. Kiss my ass. Love Kick. Ow. And ow. My fucking kick me just damn it. You should see that Smokey. She's always mean to me. Well, but, and I said lovable for you. Thank you, Angel. I couldn't hear it over all the screaming. You was your screaming. Yeah, that was you screaming, Ed. Oh. I don't scream. Yeah, you do. How dare you say I scream? Not really. I don't ever scream. Not really. You know how it is. Right. But you always do scream. That's why yeah. Shane's uh, 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 I got talk. Sorry, Tink. And our lovely scared cameraman Fred. Hi, Tank, how are you? I think I need Seminole. I think you need to be less scared, Fred. I need Seminole, too. Uh, there's a whole bottle in the medicine cabinet. I do a good yeah. after this show. Yeah, they'll take you get a during commercial break, but we don't have those anymore! But anyway. Alright, Carl! Go ahead, your first question. Love is red hair, though. It's very nice. Cow. Cow. Excuse me? 
Angel, you, Angel, you need to make a special car. I'll make him sound like that. Bachelor number one. Bachelor at number one. Yes. Maybe I should ask a short question. Oh. Um. What's your favorite <laughs> hair color on a guy? Hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she got hit in the head with a hammer knife, then you can tell. I think so. Oh, I love red hair. That's cool. I'm red headed. Wow! Bachelorette number two, what's your favorite hair color on a guy? Huh. <coughs> My favorite hair color in a man is gray. And my original hair color? And black. Thank you very much, honey. Um, are you married to that man out there? I just go on here anyway. Oh. Okay, so my choices are actually Ed and the slow girl. That's the way it looks. Bro, we can and hang a half hard like a damn duck. But you can choose me for something friendship related. Oh, I come with her, Mon, and tell the kids. Oh, okay, yes, that's fine. Unless it's a grown up place like a bar. Yeah, and the kids go to Grandma's, Mon. Um, that's one number three. What's your favorite hair color on a girl? I don't have no preferences on girls. Tank six out of his dang red couch again! Motherfucker's at least two years old. Hell, get out of it, Tank. It still looks like new to me, Ed. I don't have no preferences on hair colors or anything, body types. I don't care. It don't matter to me. It don't matter to me at all. I don't care to have hair, really. Oh, that's, that's, that's commendable. I'm not picky. I'm, I mean, some of the sweetest girls can be in, you know, what... Society considers a, a, a nice package or an okay package or whatever they want to consider them. I don't care about the outside. I just care about the inside. As you can see, pretty girls are stupid and weird. Uh, make this on record. He's pointing at Clarissa. He is. I don't remember being at slow when I was with her a while back. Maybe, maybe that sex toy did it. Maybe she put it in her dang ear or something. I think what happened is she fucking played that damn Velcro clit so fucking much that she fucking wore her brain out. Probably so. Let's lure it number one. Oh. Yes. What is your... Who's your most favorite oh. um, actor, famous person, whatever? Oh. Um... <laughs> You got stanky underarms, lady? No, I don't! I just noticed something crawling around, and I think it's a dang armpit demon! It's cl it's Cloud. Oh! He stays here sometimes. He likes to watch the mating game. Why the heck are you my dang armpit? He likes him in there for some reason. I don't know why. I almost smushed you! You can't smush him. He's a demon. Well, get him my dang Pit. Anyway. Go uh, in someone else's or go in someone's thing, coot or hair, whatever. Or go in someone's butt. I don't care. Just stay away from my dang armpit. Can I talk now? <laughs> <laughs> if you know me, I like to make my dang points. Apparently. My most favorite famous person is... Hmm. Oh. Parker. Who? Hello? Do you mean know a Jim, Jimmy Parker? I think she said Jimin. Yes. She means Jimin Park. Honey, his last name's Park. Ah! That little boy on BTC. BTS, honey. BTE. No, honey, BTS. Oh! CBS. No, honey, repeat after me. B. B. T. T. S. C. No, honey, S. She can't help it, Arlene. 
Uh, I know who you're talking about. Uh, that's cool. I, I like their music. Okay, Bachelorette number two. Who is your favorite famous person? Huh. Key Lime Mozart Mon. How did you? I had a Let's Play Mon. So did I. You're my most favorite famous person. But famous people are cool, no? I love different people. But my biggest supporter and biggest hero to me, well, one of the people is my husband. Thank you, honey. I that... love my family, even though they're buttheads. Gee, thanks, Mom. My husband's been there for me the whole time. That's, I think that's really cool. You should pick your husband. We met during spring break. Yeah, she fell over my leg, Mon. I burned my leg with my joint, Mon. It was love at first sight. Yeah, after I put the fire out. He's always been there for me and supported me all the way. So kudos to Caleb. He's probably gonna cry now, but I'm just saying. Thank you, honey. Bachelor number three who was your favorite famous person. Eh. Uh, <laughs> they are so funny, Clarissa. She even laughs slow. And then, and then real sim life, I have no worries. No. Get off my dang armpit! Go, Eva. Anyway. Oh, my most favorite yeah. famous person. <laughs> Steven Tyler. He kicks ass on Aerosmith. Thank you, Ed! You're welcome, Stan. I know you's out there. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Crumple Bottom's bun kind of blocks your face. Shut the hell up, Ed. Excuse me, hell! I'll get you after the show. Uh oh. She's gonna smack you with her dang purse! Hey, motherfucker, hurts too! I think there's bricks in it. There's something in there. Next club fucking tank thing, that's funny. I think he wants you to get hit by the purse. I think he does tell you, motherfucker. Um, Bachelorette number one. Yes! Is this going to be an all-day show? Probably with her on here now. What would you say... Is your favorite ice cream? Oh, that's interesting, that question. Nobody's ever asked that before! I think he's a bit smarter than Kyle. He seems to be a lot smarter, Kyle. Don't say lemon chocolate! Lemon. Just to make you mad. Say. My favorite is chocolate chip cookie dough. That's a good choice, honey. Thank you. Bachelor number two. What's your favorite ice cream? Oh, that's really hard to say, honey. Oh, uh, let's say. My favorite is Butter Pecan. Oh, hell yeah, it's good. Also, I love Rocky Road. Oh. They're good choices with different pies. We get ice cream after the show, honey. <laughs> yes, we can go to a dang ice cream shop. I heard one just open in Salani. Yum. It's called... I'm there. It's called Salani Ice Cream. Makes sense. Bachelor number three, what's your favorite ice cream? Oh, hell. It's impossible to answer this question. I got too many. I love fucking pistachio. I love, uh, uh. For real? Huh? What's it called? Sorry. Oh, I, I love rum raisin. That's good. Sorry to interrupt, honey, but in the Salani ice cream, they have one with bacon on it. Uh-huh. I put bacon on all mine. They're, they have yep. butter pecan with bacon. Hell yeah, I'm there too. There's a lot. I like any ice cream, really. Man, I never tried lemon chocolate, but hell, I'm up for it. Kyle ate it all. You did eat it. Oh. I saw you eat it. Boy. Monkey, you, get, you understand these crazy people out here? I didn't think so. Who? Not in the audience. Oh. Kyle, in particular. I know Kyle is also stupid. 
But apparently you like to use my arm rest over her. Um, okay. Bachelorette number one. What the hell? Did you have a bad text on your phone, honey? Was it your ex? You look kind of no, sad. Oh, she, she ghosted me. Oh. Oh, their grandma. What? She wants to take me out on a date. Ugh. Did you tell her no thank you? Well, she's 95 years old. Is she married or no? Actually, she is. What the heck? Her husband's 102. I, I had no words. He doesn't really know what's going on anymore, so I don't know. He thought I was his grandson when I was over there one day. I don't know. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Carl Carlson. Well, thank you. Bustler at number one. Yes! Why do you keep looking at me? Am I funny looking? No, you're a very pretty girl, actually. Just kinky as hell. Too kinky for my damn blood. No, no, I'm just laughing. I don't know. You keep farting, Smuggy. Is that what I'm smelling? No, I'm just laughing because you're entertaining. Mom, I gotta text my mom. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Um, anyway. Are you a city girl or a country girl? I'm a country girl. I like the country. City girl, no. Okay, thank you. Bachelorette number two. Are you a city girl or a country girl? 100% country girl. Hell yeah! Always have been, always will. Is your, are you from Texas? Heck yeah, I am. I can tell by the accent. I was there for like a month one time in a job. It was really cool down there. I went to Dallas. Is that where you're from or somewhere else? I'm from Dallas, yeah. We are! Who is that? That was my grandma. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people out there. Anyway, uh, bachelor number three. Are you a country guy or a city guy? I'm a fucking... I hate the fucking city. I hate the country too, but I'll be, I'd probably rather be a country guy, I guess. Alright, thank you. Um, bachelorette number one. Yes! Okay, I got a question, a really complex question for you. Okay. If you had three people that you could take with you in, in the event of a complete oh. world meltdown, who would you pick? Uh -huh. Oh my god! I'd take my mama, my daddy, and my little brother Joe. You got a little brother? He's four! Well, your mom and daddy waited a long time to have him, didn't they? She had issues getting pregnant. Pregnant? Yeah, don't you know what pregnant is? I know what pregnant is, but pregnant, I don't know. It's when you get with the baby inside your belly. You have, I know what the hell it is. You said you didn't. I think you didn't know what, but why you said it, honey. Ow. Oh. Okay. Bachelorette number two. If the world's gonna melt down, what three people would you take with you? That is impossible to answer because I have a bunch of family. And we have three kids, Mon. But. Well, you can leave me behind, honey, and take the kids. That's what I would tell you to do, honey. But, honey, I would tell my husband to hide the kids somewhere safe with him, and then I would have my grandma, grandpa, and my uncle fight the dang zombies. Because they have good weapons, and they know how to fight. All right, then. You're a fighter, huh? Heck yeah! 
Oh, honey, you just take the kids and go. Me and the family, it will just whatever. I would rather you and the kids be safe, honey. How in the heck are you gonna fight? I'll just stay high. If they eat me, I won't know what mom. Why don't you get the zombies high? That's a good idea. Oh my god. There you go, honey. Ugh. Anyway, bathroom number three. If you would take three people with you, if the world was to melt down, who would you take? Well, that would be impossible too, because I got a lot of friends I couldn't leave behind. But I mean, I'd definitely take my mom and daddy and granny May. I couldn't leave them behind. But I'd want to take my friends too, the Cow Angel. There's tons of friends I have. I, I don't know what I'd do. I guess I'd fight, stay behind and help Arlene fight. All right, cool. I have to say, Carl, you're gonna have some very interesting questions today. Well, thank you. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Bachelorette number one. Yes! If the zombies did attack, what would you do? Um. Run! Uh -huh. Okay, what? Well, they're fast. <laughs> I might be faster. I kind of doubt it. He probably run about as fast as fucking talk. Bachelorette number two. If the zombies did attack, what would you do? I would smack the crap out of them with whatever I find. And put your boot up their bad house. I, I would use my grandpa's chainsaw also. Don't tear it up. I'm not going to tear it up. You did last week! A chain broke! I didn't do it! It was Uncle Frank! Don't tell on me! What? I told you not to tell him! Uh-oh. Your ass is grass, Frank! God damn it! Just give him a beer, he'll forget about it! There's a whole 12 pack! Thanks! Told Your you. family really likes to yell, don't they, Arlene? They're loud just like me. Bustler number three. If zombies that were at attack, what would you do? Uh, I'd run like the fuck. I'd run out the fucking. I, I'd run like hell. You'd just break your flip flop in. I'd take the motherfuckers off so I wouldn't break them. I can run probably better barefoot than fucking flip flops. And I hate exercise. All right, go ahead with your last question, Carl. All right, thank you. Just to say, uh -huh. about a month ago, I had a date with Ann Shockley. Uh. Ann Shockley. I think I know her. Um, I'm just gonna say this. She's she uh -huh. was the worst date I've ever had. My wish, your worst date. You know those type of people that snort when they laugh and hit you? Oh my god. I knew I knew her Yeah. Every time I said something, it didn't matter if it was funny or not, she snorted and hit the crap out of my arm. Or my leg. Or whatever. I went home with bruises all over my body. It was awful. I knew I knew her. She dated my fucking buddy Bob. I knew it. He fucking came over there one day with a fucking bar bruise all over him. So, Bachelorette number one, my question to you is who was your worst date ever? And it would have to be Ed Pope. What? How dare you! No one's ever said that! You, you put you put hers your worst date and She's she, one of them gold! She fucking her clit got sucked off! She probably saw the mating game, right, Clint Russell? <clears throat> What's that? What you're on? I never watched it. He said you were his worst date ever. Well Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, I met Ed at the bar for drinks and whatever. 
and we decided to go back to my house for a little whoopty dooties. Boo hoo, you know, sex. The mambo. We know, honey. Jumping bones. Oh. We know what sex is. So, Ed brought out this flyer. I did not. That was yours, you lying bitch. You better shut up. I'm not done talking. Wait. I don't have sex toys. I don't need them. I got a hand. Actually, two. That's all I need for a sex toy. Jump, 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 jerk, jerk. Here you go, hell. And then, he turned it all the way up. He sucked my clit off. You told me to keep turning it up. Don't you lie, motherfucker! Don't you call me a motherfucker, you stupid cunt. Hey! What's your language? She is! Yes. Can't understand normal thinking, cunt! I'm shocked! Now this bitch shot, bitch! Anyway! I had to go to the emergency room. They had to velcro my clit on. Uh, he didn't cool. even stick around. How dare you. I was actually fucking got it on. What are you lying for? Maybe she doesn't remember. She, her brain's dead now. <clears throat> that was one of my worst days. Ever. I don't lie, people. You heard the story a couple weeks ago? That was a true story, but she's saying it's stupid. Um, thank you. Bachelorette number two. What was one of your worst dates ever? And I hope it was not as bad as that one. I had a bad day with this guy when I was 18. What? Even before college, honey. I know that. I don't remember this one. Anyway, his name was Egg Grain. Who? That was his name, Egg Grain. Egg or Ed? Egg. Oh, hell. That was his nickname. Hell was? No! I said, oh, hell, and you said it was his nickname. Oh, well, oh, never mind. His nickname was Hell. I thought it what he said. Or, oh, hell, I don't know. No, Egg was his nickname. No, what was his real name? His name was Craig. They called him Egg. His middle name was Plant. Egg Plant? Grain. That was his name. I don't remember this, Mon Mon. Any I'm, I'm curious to, to know more about it, Mon. Anyway, he was obsessed with eggplants. Makes sense. He was trying to get all sexy with me and stuff in his room. His parents weren't home. I'm waiting. And he put on some dang eggplant costume to try to seduce me. It's like the Sims, huh? Love struck. I swear to you, he's he's real. Maybe they know eggplant, grain. That's where they got the idea from. You think? He, he'll he'll be on here soon. I bet. Oh yeah, probably next month when the pack comes out. I'd imagine. He likes to color his hair green too. I see, Mon. Every year for Halloween, he always dressed up as an eggplant. You tried to get funky? Even... Oh, look. The flea market's open. He said that was always his favorite costume as a kid. But whenever whenever he got older, he used it for something sexy. Let me ask you a question, Arlene. Just curious. What? 
Is there a little flappy thing in the front we could actually get his real dick out? There was, and you know what he did? He colored it green, and the tip... No, wait, no, wait. He colored it purple, but the tip was green. Ugh. And he was wiggling it around. <laughs> you are look at me! Hey, I'm so sexy! Look, I have a, I have a mini eggplant in here! Ew! What's, uh, what's so sexy about a mini eggplant? That's what he was saying! And now the festival of youth's going on. That's what he was saying. He was trying to seduce me with it. And then he had a, back, a butt flap with it. That's like his shit, I suppose. And his butt was purple. With green green butthole? He colored, he colored little eggplants on his butt cheeks. Oh, my God. And he started shaking it around. Oh. No. Leave me behind it. I told him I, I had to go to the bathroom, then I snuck out his window, and never saw him again. That's probably a smart thing, That was the last day of school anyway, so there you go. That was my worst date ever. My God. I, I thought mine was bad, but... Too. Uh, bachelor number three, what was one of your worst dates ever? I don't think Caleb likes the idea of him having green hair. I do not mind. I'm the only one I know. Why is she sad? The holiday sucked, I guess. You wasn't here for it! But anyway. My, my worst dates ever. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. What, Smokey? Oh my god, I forgot about that one. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, oh, Dukna! Skibabora! Huh? Uh. Well, my worst date saver was with, uh, Petra Pam. Are you out there with the mating game? Who? Uh, yeah. Petra Pam. Who the hell's Petra Pam? Well, you've heard of Peter Pan. Oh my god, really? You know Petra Pam! I do. So, was. How old was she? Well, she was in about. Her about 25, I think. And what happened in, in your, in, on your date? Let's put it this way. She, she asked me to go on a date with her, right? So, I said, okay. Well, I waited and waited. She's going to pick me up. She never showed up. She ghosted you. Yeah, she just fucking ghosted me. So, I said, the fucking hell, I'm going to bed. And they say I know get woke up by her fucking standing in my room, fucking flying around, chasing her shadow. Oh, really? Yes, that's what she was doing. Anyway, she finally catches it, and I said, hey, you stood me up tonight, bitch. She said, don't call me names like that. I said, well, that's what you did. And I call anybody a fucking bitch that fucking ghost me and stand me up. She said, I'm here for our date now. I didn't stand you up. I said, it's fucking midnight. Good God. And she said, close your eyes, Ed. I'll take you on an adventure. I said, all right, then. Take me on a fucking adventure, Petra. They say I know I'm fucking being lifted up in the fucking air and I'm flying in the fucking night sky. Oh my god, here we go. Take me to some fucking island. And with the Lost Boys there? Why, well, hell no. Then who was? They're, they want to be called Lost Men now. They're older. Oh, I grew up. Apparently so. And then there's this little fairy named Twinkie Bell. Twinkie Bell? Yes, she was a yellow little thing. You mean Tinker? No, it was Twinkie Bell, damn it. Learn your fucking shit. Oh, God. Fred. <laughs> anyway, Twinkie Bell didn't like me at all. She was jealous as hell. I think she, I think she loved... Petra. Oh. 
Anyway, there's this fucking pirate there named Captain Hooker. Captain Hooker? That was her fucking night, Captain Hooker! You goddamn prostitute! A pirate prostitute! That's what the sign said. Oh my god! Where does this end? Go oh, calm down! I told you, Smokey. He's, he can be an asshole sometimes. But anyway, fucking Captain Hooker was gonna fucking feed me to a goddamn fucking alligator. And Petra fucking refused to goddamn save me. So, as you can imagine, I had to swim all the way fucking home. It was one of my fucking worst days ever. I have no words for that fucking damn story, Ed. I, I, is Petra going to be on here at some point? I would imagine she will, because fucking Fashy Sims will fucking make her ass. I'm sure Ed Green will be on here, too. Anyway. He'll be wearing a steak eggplant costume, probably. All right, Carl, come on out. God help you. Do I have to? I'm afraid so. He may Lord want to choose no one. You can't do that. Would you like to be bachelor number one? Um, I don't know. Bachelor number two? She seemed like a very lovely, loud lady. And bachelor number three. Mmm. Ugh. Honey, if you don't want to choose anyone else, you can choose me, and you can hang out with me and my family at Saloni Ice Cream. Alright, I, I pick Arlie. She seems the only one with some head on her shoulders. Oh, God. If, if I come on here again, can I have some nice people? I was saying you're not ice, Arlie, and you are. Like, can I actually have someone I can actually maybe go on a date with that's single? I'm oh, sure. we'll work on it there, Carl. Don't I'm worry sure about Tank it. will do it. Don't worry, honey. That ain't up to me. It's up to, to, to you know who. Uh, <laughs> all right, honey. Ready to go? Sure. What the hell? Oh, it's an event. There's balloons. I want to go. Oh, honey. I want to go over there, Mon. Oh, it's around here with the Saloni ice cream. You may go here, Mon. Can I go, Mon? We're going here, too. It's around this area anyway. This is what they're doing for the grand opening. All right. Me and the kids have to go pee first. We'll be over in the Mon... I mean, a, a mon it, Mon it. All right. I mean, you know what I mean. All right, honey. All right. I think it's going to be a nice, friendly date. I, I, I will try to find... Well, I, I don't have any fucking... I don't have any say-so. It's whoever she picks, but hopefully she will pick someone that's nice for Carl next time. I don't make any promises, team, but I'll work on it. Uh, all right then. Stay tuned next week, thank folks. Gosh damn it! For an all new mating game, I'm Tink First. Well, have a lovely weekend. <laughs> thank you so much, Tink. What are you laughing about, Ed? Uh, he said fake last year. That last fucking week, too. Anyway. Well, I have to say, Clarissa is a very interesting person, don't you? Mm-hmm. And I think all three stories were just amazing. <laughs> I, uh, this we, we all have a wild imagination, I have to say. Arlene's story with the eggplant and story Clarissa's story. I can't wait to meet eggplant whenever he gets made. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Eh, don't even say it, you fucking clit bitch. <laughs>